Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So this tutorial, you will learn how to use chroma key and motion tracking and how to transform your clips uh, using Filmora 10. Uh, so this tutorial is created for one of my subscribers. Uh, he's uh, Victor Nelson, uh, the, one, uh, the one who asked me how to create similar effect for his video. So yeah, here's the, what he said. Hi Jackie. I'm sorry to ask the same question again the following website so I'm going to click on this link to another YouTube channel how do you make our video clip to fit that big green screen left hand side of the screen is higher than right hand side and for Filmora 10 how, how can I rotate the video clip vertically and horizontally to the angle that I want no flipping to the video uh, 180 degrees I tried you know, what you said using uh, keyframe to rotate the video clip but it didn't work out thank you so actually uh, in this example we have two things uh, the first one we have a big screen uh, on the left side and when just show something and then uh, the crowd cheer and then uh, the camera move to the right and there's a small screen on the on the right side so we have to use a chroma key in, inside Filmora 10 to remove the green screen and also we have to use motion tracking because whenever we put uh, a video under the, uh, the screen the bigger screen and uh, the small screen uh, it will will not uh, follow the camera movement so uh, actually it is very easy and in Filmora 10 we only uh, we can only move the the video to the uh, horizontally and vertically so we can move to move it uh, like uh, perspective or oh, oh, I, I don't know uh, so well, we all only have uh, X and Y ASO we don't have uh, Z ASO so we can move uh, to that ASO okay so here is the example uh, happiness come from simple things so I'm going to uh, play this video uh, of course with the sound uh, with a silent sound otherwise we uh, get copyright uh, things here okay we play here uh, so here uh, we have a bigger screen here and the ground going to shout and it's uh, will move to the to the right uh, so there's a there's another the screen on the right side so actually I can see that this is not also not a real green screen it's just some uh, sample color they put on the on the TV screen by the way it's okay so I downloaded this video uh, to my computer and then I'm going to put it into Filmora. So here's the final uh, product. Uh, this is the example project that I created. So let's explain a little bit. Uh, down here we have a video. Uh, this is a green screen video so that uh, I can hide everything. But this is the video. It's, it is used for only uh, one purpose. It's motion tracking. So nothing more. Uh, and on top uh, we have another uh, exactly the same the same video this video is going to uh, to play here so we will display this uh, video because it is on the top track uh, with the the chroma key activated so let's delete everything on the timeline so the timeline the timeline now is uh, empty so the first thing we need to drag and drop this video uh, this green screen video onto the timeline okay so at the bottom track and like this okay uh, and we're going to keep the project setting because I downloaded it uh, from the internet so it is only uh, 720p uh, now we need to make full HD so here so let's work with the, the big, uh, big screen first uh, the first thing I want to do is to, uh, to activate the motion tracking so I want to find something here uh, we will not move uh, when the camera moves so obviously this position is nice right so first thing uh, we are going to activate the motion tracking uh, we're going to click here motion tracking uh, for this one and then uh, we are going to select this and adjust this tracking point and move it to here uh, this should be work uh, this should work fine and now I'm going to click here to start tracking okay
Okay. Uh, I think that's that's fine because to this position, the tra the tra motion tracking cannot cannot track this position. By the way, it's okay because the screen already out uh, out of the frame. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is to put a video on top of this uh, this track and uh, activate the motion tracking for for that clip so it will follow this tracking point. Uh, I'm going to use this one. Uh, this is a clip of a girl. Up, a uh, beautiful girl, I think. Uh, but uh, the clip is shorter than uh, than the um, uh, this one, so I'm going to slow it down. So I'm going to press uh, Control and then uh, slow it down to this position. And the next thing I want to do is to move move this clip uh, to the big bigger screen. Uh, okay, so I'm, uh, to do that, I'm going to uh, double click on here and then I can uh, resize the clip to this position so that I, I will move, uh, move her to this position we cover the, the screen okay and also I will reduce the, the opacity of this clip so that I can see the, the clip at the bottom and here uh, we go to compositing and then reduce the opacity uh, so obviously when I remove the green, uh, green screen uh, the green color uh, I need to uh, put her at this position and maybe maybe I can just uh, use this this button to rotate a little bit, and then put uh, put it right here. Uh, scale it. Uh, no, too much. Scale it down to this position. Okay, and uh, move to this one. Okay, nice. Uh, and now I can activate the motion tracking for this clip by double click at the at the bottom clip uh, here and then go to motion tracking and then click here to uh, select the clip uh, down here uh, right here and the next thing uh, i need to do is to copy this uh, bottom clips and paste it on top and activate the, the chroma key uh, feature right uh, to do that uh, just copy it and then i'm going to lock this track and here uh, right here i'm going to activate the chroma key feature uh, it is very easy Okay, so now I'm going to uh, unlock this track and then uh, return the increase the opacity again. So now we have to finish uh, with a big screen. Uh, so we, I'm going to render the timeline and then play it. Okay, just render it. Okay, so it uh, finished rendering the timeline. So let's play it. Uh, okay, so it seems that there is something here. Uh, as, as you can see here, we have uh, some uh, green background here. Uh, so uh, maybe we need to scale up uh, this clip a little bit more. Uh, so I'm going to hide this one. And then I'm going to adjust a little bit here uh, at, the, at the beginning. Because uh, it is too too small so we are going to scale up a little bit more okay and see what uh, going on here and now let's play it again Okay, so that's that's nice. But remember, you need to scale up your uh, your clip, um, your clip to to avoid green screen or, or you see anything uh, down here. You need to fix it. But uh, techni technically, uh, that is how you can um, replace a green uh, green screen uh, with a video clip. Okay, so that is for the big screen. And I don't think it's necessary to show you how to uh, to do the same stuff with a smaller screen. Uh, so here I already created this uh, effect in uh, at the small, uh, smaller screen. Uh, so you can see here. I, uh, let's explain. Uh, we copy this this part. Uh, we split this part and also this part. And then we activate the motion tracking for this part. And then uh, uh, activate the motion tracking for this clip. 
follow the movement at uh, some point here. Okay, so that is uh, enough for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below, especially uh, Victor Nelson. If you have any more questions about Femora 10, just let me know. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.